You guys, bro, bro, you guys are not funny, bro. Like, I understand my upload schedule is a little, uh, I don't know, it's a little weird, but you know, bro, I'm back. Like, I'm back. Um, I'm back. You know, it's only been five days since I last uploaded, but that's not the problem. Like, the problem is not that I can't record, the problem is. I'll be taking so long to edit, bro. Bruh. Like, do y'all see like the things I'll be editing? Like, the way I'll be editing my videos. Like, look, watch this. <laughs> see, like that was so unnecessary. Um, by the way, I have school tomorrow. I don't like school, but you know, I'm gonna uh pull some baddies or whatever. Nah, I'm playing, but bro, I have a girlfriend. Nah, I'm joking. I don't have a girlfriend, so hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up or whatever. Nah, I'm playing, I'm playing. Nah, okay. Where is your dad? Where is your mom? Where is your family? All right, so in this video, you probably read the title, and the title is some along the lines with how to make a shattered cube. I don't know. It's something like that. I don't know, but whatever. Look, look, let me let me just tell you this. You can't just make a cube explode in After Effects. You can make certain things explode, but not a cube because it doesn't have the fractal like components or whatever, you know. So therefore we're gonna have to jump into another 3D software. Now wait before you freak out so you have three options okay first option is i can teach you how to do it with a paid program that most people don't have you know second one it's a free 3d software that you can get and number three you can just buy yes i said buy you can just buy my uh obj file <laughs> look bro let me just say this okay i feel bad like putting a price on it because it shouldn't have a price but bro choose one of those three if you want to learn how to do it then shoot here we go okay so the first software we're going to use is cinema 4d now disclaimer because you guys probably won't know because this is your first time like trying to do this we're not gonna animate the cube here we're actually gonna bring it into after effects first thing you gotta do is you make a cube how do you make a cube you may ask click right here boom look at that look at that it's a cube so now once you have your cube or whatever you see see all right you're gonna go over here to MoGraph and then go over to Voronoi for Voronoi fracture and then nothing happened if you go over here you just gotta get this cube and link it into that and look at that oh, oh my, my god. god now what we're gonna do is click on this on top the uh, vernoi fracture thingy whatever and go over to sources now this is how many viewpoints you want what does that mean you may ask you see these little different colored uh thingy majiggies that piece is gonna leave if that makes sense like once you like explode the cube this little piece is gonna go flying on its own and then this piece is going to go flying over there and then this piece you know if you lower this amount you're going to have less pieces if that makes sense you know see that right here you only have two pieces so once you explode it only these two are going to explode you see this is what's going to happen so they're going to be like this and then boom now once you have this you're going to uh, go to file and then you're going to put export and then we need it to be a waveform obj file S save it somewhere you want now you're gonna get this and then just press ok ok so now we're in the next program you know what i'm saying this is blender say hi blender hi now guys uh say hi to blender we'll wait this nigga oh my oh my god 
so blender is free you can get it uh for free <laughs> there's a link in the description you just you basically just download it and boom you don't have to do nothing else like you know what i'm saying all right we're gonna click general first thing you're gonna do first thing you're gonna do go to edit and then go to preferences and then go to add-ons and then type cell fracture this might be disabled like this so just enable it and then yeah and then what you're gonna do is right here where it says object mode you're gonna go over to edit mode and then you're gonna uh right click and then you're gonna subdivide now as you can see it's divided into like four or something so just do it again and then now you have more pieces you can do how but you could go like even more but i'm gonna keep it with only two oops like that and then you're gonna uh change the mode into object mode so we're gonna go back to object mode and then you're gonna go over to object quick effects and then self fraction and now we have these you don't have to move none of these okay all you have to worry about is noise i say just keep it at one like move the whole thing to like one and then just press okay and then boom that's really all we need oh actually i forgot to do something so you see this little thing right here that's the camera uh, right here in, in our scenes just delete the camera we don't need, really need the camera and then you might have a light too just delete the uh, the light uh we're gonna have to delete the cube that's on top or else it's not gonna work so just delete this cube uh delete it and now we're gonna have the little pieces on their own you know and once you have this you're gonna go over to file export and then waveform obj and then export and boom you're done now we're going to after effects to animate it so i'll see you there um we're gonna make a new solid so add a uh, 3d element to it so element and then now we go to scene setup so right here where it says import you can import your model once you open it click opacity and then use auto normals and then okay if you want to add a picture actually what we can do is let's say you just add a picture let's comp this uh layer right here actually and then bring this down you can turn this off and then we're gonna go over to the element effect controls and then on custom layers custom texture maps or right here on layer one we're gonna click the picture and then we can go to a uh, back to scene setup and then open the cube and then this is where the picture is gonna go right here on textures go to diffuse and then click this little arrow and then just click the picture it might not appear on here I don't know, it's a little bug. I don't know why it doesn't appear, but it will once you press OK. And boom, as you can see, we have it there. Now, this is where we animate it. So go to group one and then go to particle look, multi object, enable this. And then you have all of these controls right here. You, right here, right here on scatter multiply, if you increase this, all the little pieces like come off as you, as you can see. Look at uh, some titties. Oh, get him out of here! Get him out of here! Um, <laughs> you can use X displays, which will make them go sideways, and then you can use this one to go like that, or the Z to go like this. It's all up to you, you know. And then with edits, you can do some type of like creative transition or whatever. Or you can also, when it cracks, you can have something in the middle. Let's say another cube or like a heart or something. I mean, boom. As you can see, you know, it's, it's clean, you know what I'm saying? There's definitely more things you can add, um, like different transitions that you can implement. There's so many possibilities when it comes to uh, editing. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't leave the video without leaving a like. And uh, subscribe. We're close to 20k, actually. I'm at 19.5k. Uh, go follow my Instagram. Yes, I got a new account now. I got my old username back. So, you know, yeah, I'm finna start over for 2022. But yeah, other than that, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys learned something. Uh, hopefully, uh, you enjoyed this video. And yeah, deuces.
listen, stop. I'm gonna fuck you. 